Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Tenkaichi Chapter 41 titled Domain of Death. I didn't do a reaction to last month's chapter because, well, I didn't think there was really much of particular note in it. Uh, but now we're getting into the actual start of the seventh match. And uh, the prospects of it seem quite enticing. So, you know the drill. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Without any further ado, let's get right into this month's chapter, shall we? So let's see. Let's see here. The Jewel of Martial Talent versus the God Slayer. They face off as still as stones. So we got um, Inshin here standing up with his spear. And then uh, Jinsuke is... I don't know if I'd say he's sitting, but he's crouched down on the ground, just holding on to one of his swords. Sheath. Well, what's the weird stance supposed to show me? I won't show my sword to some brat who hasn't accepted death. What? If I'm to show my sword to you, you'll need to step into my domain first. Stupid kid. So there's like, yeah, he's got this radius around him here with a bunch of slashes going through it. So I guess that's his attack range. And those are probably all of the different vectors of attack he can cut through. He looks <laughs> quite imposing with that shading on his face and uh, Heenshin looks a bit upset, you know? <laughs> he looks not, not happy. <laughs> With that comment? Ho oh, ho, it seems this opponent has something interesting in store. I don't understand. As long as he remains sitting and his sword stays in its scabbard, he'll be slow to defend and slow to escape. So why has Inshu not attacked our... Buddy, have you never heard of Bato Jutsu? Have you never heard of, like, fucking quick draw? Heh. <laughs> It seems he can sense it, too. If one were to touch it, it could very well cut them. This pressure that has been honed like a blade. Is that a fucking honey badger? I've never really seen someone with a badger as their aura. But, you know, I think that's quite fitting, honestly. Because badgers are, like, really unassuming-looking animals. But they're, like... Super fucking violent and dangerous. And of course, he's, he's shaded looking all menace in there. Hmm. Inshun doesn't look impressed, though. He'll only show me his sword once I've stepped into his range, huh? I don't know if this is some kind of tactic or what, but I'll bite. I'll show my hand first. Hayashizaki. Hmm? And notice. Here's the spear of Hozoin. Is that he's going to lunge forward and stab at Jinsuke. Jinsuke, I think he shifted his arm slightly. He does a rush of spear thrusts at him. And as they're about to hit Jinsuke, he's looking all serious there. His eyes are whited. The, sh the sword is removed from the sheath. He parries it away, but we don't see the actual sword slices. We just see him putting the sword back in the sheath. That's excellent. As the, the spear just seems to bend around him. How many times did he just stab him? Five times in the span of a single breath. And every thrust was handled by Ashizaki's EI. Without him moving a single step. Very impressive. God, I hope this guy wins. <sighs> He's so fucking cool. I also really want him to fight Ito. I, I feel like having like a... Because I think they're going to be the, the only ones next round if they both win. Where we get a, a like a samurai duel out of them. We ought to get at least one. That would be excellent. Ha. <sighs> Sticking his sword right back in its scabbard after drawing it. Color Kotaro impressed. He's got some clever tricks. But 
the little whelp's already gotten in your blind spot. Does he have a blind spot? As he, he quickly sidesteps behind Jinsuke. Ha ha, I like this. Of course, he's sitting to make himself as small a target as possible and make defending himself easier. I appreciate that you're not just a dumbass who thinks he's just sitting here waiting for you to attack him. Like, like you, you're able to acknowledge and appreciate the strategy he's using right now. Then, try this on for size. Are you gonna do a slash with the Krow Spear? Nobody's looking back at him. Ooh. He's like flash stepping around him and stabbing at him, but he's just spinning around and defending against every single attack. That looks so good. Ooh. What an incredibly swift defense. I, I could hardly see neither spear nor sword. Hmm. Inshu, you truly are unique. In spite of your young frame, you thrust that unwieldy spear precisely and at incredibly high speeds. Something that seems simple at first glance, but I doubt there is another student trained under Hozoe who could do the same. But in spite of what has transpired, Hayashizaki's guard has shown no sign of giving way. Nor does it seem like he's switching to the offensive. Hmm. If I had to guess, his true aim here is to... Oh, he looks like he actually... Did he step forward here? No, no, no. It's just the angle there of him... I think, yeah, sheathing the sword again after deflecting makes it kind of look like he's moving forward. <laughs> That's a really good dynamic shot. I'm reminded of how lively the art in Tenkaichi is. Like, it, it has such fluidity to it, despite the detail. It's a thing that I think was really lost with Record of Ragnarok's art, as the, like, detail quality of it improved. As uh, Hozuin's shot. Wowza. That didn't work either? Ah, I get it now. So that's what you meant by what you said before. Dumb kid. If you stay in your own safe range, that spear won't ever hit me. And at the same time, I want to end this without having to kill you. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. You do not want to murder a child. <laughs> If you really are a genius, like they say, and if you've never felt the taste of death before, that is. Hmm. However, you're all too aware of my own power now. If you still dare to tread on my domain of death, that looks so cool. It's just skulls all around him here in this radius. That looks so cool. Then that's when I'll. Oh, he takes a step forward. He crushes the skulls beneath his feet. Ha! Accepted death? Mmm, Jinsuke's looking real serious. It's you who needs to accept your own death. So he thrusts forward, the spear becomes like a bolt of lightning. What powerful steps he's taken. This is it. I see the, the, the skulls being crushed. It, it's like a visual and auditory indicator to Jinsuke that, that he's entered his domain. I believe he stabs, and it looks like the pommel of the sword is coming up right towards the head of the spear. With just the hilt? He deflected it? He deflected Inshin's spear. Holy shit. That was it being, I see, I see. It was about to hit him there and he, he just knocked it back. That's crazy. This guy's immaculate. Whoa. Hmm. He's able to pin down such swift thrusts so precisely. Things might be getting hairy now. Wow, he, he fucking knocked Ishun back. He stabbed his spear into the ground behind him. He knocked him off balance. You're wide open there, Ancient. He could kill you right now. Ha! Show him, Jinsuke. Show them your drawing strike. As you want to, though. Will he choose to? 
His aura condenses around him. There's, a, there's an air about this man. Oh, shit. Genius, Hozoin Inshu. Now that you've entered my domain, you're mine. As he unsheaths the sword, Inshin sees it coming. There's a big whirlwind slash that comes out. He cuts up the ground with it. Holy shit. As we see, Inshin's prayer beads were cut straight to his neck. He dodged. He dodged out of the way of it. To be continued next issue in Divine Domain. And I see, so they've, they've both got their own domains. Jinsuke has become a, a god slayer. He's become an embodiment of death, and Inshin is someone with talent blessed by the gods. And he's a monk, so you know, there is the, the religious aspect to him there. That was a pretty good chapter. This fight's off to a, a pretty entertaining start thus far, I must say. Um, I'm digging it. I'm really liking it. Jinsuke is working his way up into my favorites very quickly. He is so cool. It's really easy to be really cool when you're a, a quick draw samurai. You know, when you do EI. But, you know, that doesn't make a difference about how fucking cool it is. Um, but yeah, with that, that's all I've got for this month's reaction. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Tenkaichi chapter reactions every month we get a new chapter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.